Hello Trar Enthusiasts, my name is James and today we're going to be starting something brand new. We're going to be taking a look at a really, really nicely made Terraria modification for version 1.3.0.8. So it has everything that 1.3 has and just a ton more. Now my friend Pedgwin has already checked this out. Today I'm going to start my little series on it. Hopefully we can take a different route from him, so I'll have to go and see what he did. So we can do something different to give you guys a little bit of a different content feel than watching um, more than watching Pedwins, because obviously Pedgwins is still ongoing. And uh, I thought I'd mention that because obviously we're really good friends and I don't want to I don't want to seem like I'm copying, but today we're going to be jumping straight into things. Uh, the fun of this mod actually comes once you've actually already established yourself. So I'm going to do a quick little time lapse now of me getting all the stuff ready for like a house and such. So then we can actually really just jump into this mod and have a lot of fun with it. So let's begin the montage. Okay, so that is the end of the time lapse. I built a quick little two house because I wanted one for my guide and I wanted one for the die trader because obviously we're going to get a die trader straight off the bat because we got that strange plant unless I cut that out of the montage. So the first thing we're going to craft is a wooden shield. It gives, if you if you equip it, it gives one defense. And look at that sprite work. Already you're going to see that this is a very high quality mod. I've checked out a lot of mods in the past. Uh, my favorite back in the day was the obsidian mod. Uh, which was absolutely brilliant, and I, re I had like a really fun time with it, so it's going to be great delving back into things. So, let's loot all. Now, we're going to be basically exploring the world. Some of the things that we want to craft at the beginning are actually, um, well, you actually need to go out and look for them. So, we're going to get, oh, nice, one to sparkling. One of the things that would be good if we got is a uh, is the book to, uh, to get vines, because we can craft stuff from vines. Uh, stone is going to be a good thing because we can craft stuff with stone and I'm talking about new stuff here when I say we can craft stuff Of course you can craft stuff with stone, but now we're going to be able to craft some new stuff with stone And we're going to use that to our advantage So depending on what items fall into our hands is depending on like it's depending on how the world generates because obviously like we could get an ocean biome like uh, a nice way to get to the ocean biome or we can have a like a living wood tree and stuff it all depends on what comes our way depending on what route we take because obviously we can we can go different options at the minute with this new mod we can go down a summoner's road a warrior's road a mage's road uh we can go through lots of things and stuff so that is gonna be good all right this is gonna be great for when we want to do some fishing later on i like this pond this is nice tom the fisherman would be very impressed Right, if only this gave the double dash ability. Can you imagine? That'd be pretty OP. Right, okay, so this is cool. So we're in a sand biome. All right. Okay, let's kill this ant lion. All right, and let's grab the cactus. I can't remember if you can craft anything from cactus. However, if you can't, it'll still be good for potions. All right, we'll grab some sand while we're here as well, so we can make some um, we can make some pots in the future. That's always a good thing to get when you're in the uh, desert biome. Right, I know it doesn't look like there's much yet in terms of what is available in this mod, but trust me, as you go through it, you will see there is lots and lots of stuff. And if you want to actually check the mod out, there will be a link in the description to it, so you can go and download it yourself if you're playing PC Edition. Alright, let's kill this vulture. Alright, I want to get through. I'm going to either try and find a living wood tree, or I'm going to try and find the uh, ocean biome. Which we're more likely to get an ocean biome, obviously, because they're in every world. But we're more likely to get one of them than we are a uh, basically a big tree. Because you don't always get big trees, weirdly. Do you? You always, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Right. Oh, wow, I didn't know that actually had fire effects. Very nice, very nice indeed. Alright, okay, so. We are on to a bigger desert. This desert is very big, very big. 
Ooh, and that's a weird spike off, isn't it? That's obviously the Crimson back here. Do you think we can uh, start taking on Crimson enemies? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Tell you what we can do. We can always uh, we can always bail on the situation if it gets a little bit too much. So what's that on our hotkey? Seven. So, oh, oh no. Oh no. All right, okay, let's heal up. We just have to press seven if we need to bail. So that's good. All right, let's progress this way. This is a very nice crimson. It's got the uh, the new crimson sprites that I've not seen yet. Because obviously when you get different worlds in Terraria, you get different sprites depending on what kind of world you've generated. Like, trees don't always look the same. So I've got some very nice trees there, haven't I? All right, okay, let's go up. This is a very weird, uh, a very weird world, Jen. <laughs> and that's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Weird world. Okay, what are we going to find? I'm looking, like I said, to find a... I'm looking to find uh, an ocean or... Let's loot all and run. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. We wanted that. So now we can collect vines. So when we go back to the house, we'll grab some vines. Oh, nice fall. All right, let's equip them. And let's equip, equip that. All right, okay. I just want to go up. Let me go up. Ooh, do we go up and die or? I don't know. We got a potion then. I think we'll be fine. All right, so are we going to find anything for today that we actually really, really, really want? Doesn't seem like it yet. We got these vines though, so we're going to grab all these vines. And you'll see why later on. There is a crafting recipe to do with vines that we can uh, utilize ourselves. Ooh, and got another strange plant. That's going to be good because that's going to give us a little bit of money if we sell them or we could wear them. I wonder what the um, I wonder what the items look like died. I wonder if they say they follow the same rule of uh, how Terraria users dying because obviously like it's a line of code that that knows how to change the color palette and stuff. So I wonder if that works straight off the bat. All right. You think do you think we've got a little bit over our head? I feel like we have. It's all right. We'll take down the enemies that we can just while we're here because obviously these are all thankfully ones that can't go into the water. And then we'll go back to the house and we'll progress from there. Right, or we could wait another day. We just need to get some vines, so once we've got the vines, we're all good. Right, okay, let's grab the stuff in this chest real quick. Right, and then let's go back to the house. We've got some recall potions. Okay, now we are going to wait until the daytime, and then we can go progress on the daytime. But first, let's see if we've got some crafting recipes here. Um, nothing just yet. Let's make an anvil, because we'll need one of them. So we'll put that down, and then... Ooh, so there you go. Tin shield, a stone helmet. Uh, you can make an aglet. We're going to make one. Why not? Uh, what else? Is there anything else that we can craft? Vine pants. There you go. 5% increased range damage. So look, we're already getting some really good stuff. So it looks like we're going to be taking a, uh, a ranger's approach. We're going to get some of that. Uh, and do we get some arrows up in here? I feel like we should get some arrows up in here. All right, okay, let's get these on. And then let's get crafting some flaming arrows. Alright, okay, so it looks like we're set. We just need to go get some more vines. I'm going to wait until the morning, though. But I'm going to, uh... Did I? Oh, yeah, I did get the second strange die. Alright, okay, reflective die. How's that going to look? Ooh, interesting. It does actually work. Kind of. Oh, yeah, it does. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing, then. Let's try acid die. Ooh, very cool. I like that one. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, okay, we're going to wait until the daytime, and then we'll progress further. Okay, so instead of waiting for the daytime, what I was doing was I was um, I was looking around the world to see if I could get some more vines so we could like save ourselves some time. And I've stumbled across this. I want to open it up with you guys so we can see what we get. We get a violent cloud in the bottle and a lot of loot. Nice. That's actually not a bad item at all. I like the cloud in the bottle. Double jump is the best. All right. Okay. So we're going to grab this anvil. Kind of a shame that we already crafted one. We're going to grab it though and we're going to move on. Right. Because one thing that I would like to find is a loom. Because obviously you can craft a loom, but it'd be nice to find a loom. Because you can actually craft some really interesting things with looms. Uh, using looms and silk and stuff. So, whoop. right, it looks like, oh no, we've not come to a dead end yet. Right, let's keep this going. Hopefully we'll find a loom. I usually seem to find looms in my worlds these days. Oh, doing nice damage there, look. Look at that. Right, okay, we'll grab all of this cobwebs because we do need the uh, we do need the silk later down the line. We'll grab all of that and let's put up a torch. Okay, another cloud on the ball. Not bad, I guess. Not bad. 
Uh, I will take the um, I will take the gold chest. Right, okay, nothing down there. So I'm going to progress a little bit further, see if I find anything interesting. But most of it's going to come from the daytime when we can actually go and look on the surface, because we need some stuff on the surface to uh, to do with some of the new crafting items, which I'm really excited about showing you. So we'll do a little bit of a jump cut again, and we'll see what we find. Okay, so it's a brand new day, and uh, we've got some stuff to craft because one, I finished. I well, I collected lots more uh, vine stuff. So we got a vine cape. Nice. Does it have a vine helmet though? That's the interesting bit. I feel like it doesn't because we haven't been able to craft one and I've got a lot of vines. So let's just test that theory out. All right, okay, a vine hood. Oh, you need a day bloom. That makes sense. All right, okay, let's go find a day bloom. Or do I have one in my chest? Let's quickly go check. And if not, we can just go find one. All right, so, uh, nature. Do I have a day bloom? Nope. All right, okay, we'll go find a day bloom. A day bloom should be somewhere. Now, I think that's all I've got to craft at the minute. I want to do some more advanced crafting in a second. I'm going to start making, like, a sawmill, a loom and stuff to try and see what we can make with some of these cobwebs and such. There are a lot of things you can craft with silk, excitingly. So, uh, we're going to do that. But we needed to explore the world first, anyway, because we needed to know if there was any uh, living trees and stuff, because that would be really cool, because we, we could use that very, very well. So, let's... Uh, jump over here and let's come down here right. I don't know if I saw a day bloom then I think I might have done we can leave this area just for now yep there we go found a day bloom shoot it down take it with us all right we're gonna wait a minute though because we're not gonna use it straight away <laughs> all right so we're gonna come over here and let's see if we can find a living tree past this ice biome because if we can it would be awesome Alright, do you get the chill debuff in normal mode? No, it's just an expert mode thing. I've been playing way too much expert mode recently to remember the stuff in normal mode. And it's also made me quite overconfident, which is probably not a good thing because I'm not actually that great at Terraria anyway. Okay, let's come over here. It's not much in this ice biome. I quite like it though because it's nice and flat. That's good. I like biomes that are flat because later on when you've got a little bit of mobility, like you've got Hermes boots and such, which we actually do have. Um, now that I think about it. Oh my god, what's this? It's a beta wolf. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about the beta wolf, but... <laughs> wolf pelt. Nice. Can be placed. Ah, oh, cool. So it's like a little, uh, like a little banner. Kind of cool. Dropped on first time, though, which makes me imagine that the mod developers are, like, really proud of it. And I like that. It's probably why it's, like, quite common. Or if not, maybe it's really rare. And I'm just very lucky. Probably not, though. Alright, okay. So I didn't think we'd have a small crimson. I thought we'd have a big two biome one. Because that one that we were in a minute ago, the, the crimson sun biome one, was a little bit too small for my liking. Okay, let's come over here. We're managing to take stuff down relatively quickly, aren't we? We're a little bit too strong at the minute. <laughs> Like I say, overconfident, playing enough because uh, I've played too much expert mode. Right. Let's take out you. Okay. Oh, there's a water leaf there. May as well grab it while we can. And it's one of these dungeons again. Brilliant. We love these. Yeah, I love not being able to get to the, uh, <laughs> to the top. Ooh, ooh. Heal up. Double jump over these people. That didn't work. I'm going to get mob rushed, aren't I? Well, oh, well, you're not taking me alive. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I think they're not going to take me alive. They're going to take me dead. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. There is a lot of them. Come on. Back off, boys. Back off. Vine master to the win. All right, okay. We're doing pretty well so far. Ha. Ah, jumped over you, slime. All right, okay. That was a little bit... Nerve-wracking. Right, let's start building up, at least, anyway. Had this in one of our other series, didn't we, recently? I think it was the uh, the Fisherman's Run. We had this. And then Python had one on his Fisherman's Run, which was just hilarious. So we both had one on our Fisherman Runs. Oh, okay. Lots of enemies, like, managing to attack me. What's going on? Are there a little bit... Is there, like, a blue candle nearby or something? What's going on? Obviously, we'd know about that, because we'd get a little bit of a notification. But it's kind of annoying. Come on. Don't be scared now that you're here. 
<laughs> there is just tons coming at me. All right, well, I think we've lost the chance to have a living tree anyway, because I don't think they can spawn this far out. I don't know if they can spawn past the dungeon. I wouldn't believe they can. All right, okay, that's better. There we go. Finally some progress. All right, old man. We're going to come and bum rush all your stuff. Nice. Is there a water bottle there? Yep, water bottle. Nice. Let's drill water bottle. Can't go too wrong with that. Love a good water bolt. And a celestial one. What's, what's going on with that? Good luck today, isn't it? Alright, okay. Let's build a little bit higher up. Alright, we'll worry about Skeletron later. We just want to find out about these trees. Alright, now we could do the Leap of Faith, where we do a Leap of Faith and then jump at the end. Or we could build down. And I'm thinking... Leap of Faith. Leap of Faith's a lot funner. Right, is there going to be a tree here? Nope, I think not. But there is an item that I wanted. Uh, I said at the beginning I wanted some coral. And the reason I want coral is because there are... Well, there is a coral set. But the thing with coral is I never have good luck finding any. Because look, that's sand shell. That's not coral. The problem with coral is because it's under like because underwater, uh, it's like usually quite hard to find. Yeah, I'm not going to have any luck getting coral today. Ooh, there's a shark. The shark is going to run away. Right, okay. So that is that side of the world explored. Now, let's get into some more advanced crafting. I want to get... Where's my iron? Oh, there we go. We can make the vine hood. Nice. Which, now we have seven defense. Pretty crazy when you think about it, considering we've only just started. Right, okay. So we're going to make some chains. We're going to make a sawmill. Uh, where is the sawmill? There we go. We're going to make a sawmill. Gonna place down the sawmill. We're going to make a loom. Uh, hopefully we have enough wood for a loom. We've got a loom. There we go. We're going to go into one of our chests. I think it's the... Which one is it? Spelunking. Nice. Right, okay. And we're going to craft a bunch of silk. <laughs> bunch of silk. And then, look at this, right? Okay, what have we got, right? I'm going to go through all of it that we got that's new. So... Well, at the minute, there's nothing there just yet because we need some more stuff. There is an armchair, which we could craft and we could place. I like it. I like it. But this is what you're all here to see. This is what you're all here to see. The dodge mask. Look at that. How nice is that? Isn't that awesome? Come on. Is that not awesome? Right. You cannot complain about dodge mask in Terraria. This is what makes this mod awesome. Not afraid to have fun. Great, I love it. Okay, so it is now night time, and as a little bit of a bonus for sticking with me today and for watching the first episode, I'm going to do something fun for you, uh, but it's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to jump cut ahead and you'll see what I'm going to do, but it's for being awesome and sticking out for the whole episode, and I really appreciate that. Okay, so for fun and a nice little treat for the ending, I thought I would do this. One second, let me put down some torches so you guys can see a little bit better on the screen. I thought as a fun little ending, I would show you the capabilities of what we have found today. So we're going to have a Eye of Cthulhu fight on the second night of Terraria. Sounds fun to me. Alright, because I've done this in expert mode, it's nothing now. <laughs> I am God. <laughs> No, but this is a really fun fight. I thought it'd be a really nice way to, uh, to celebrate the end of a first episode by doing a boss fight. Sounds awesome to me. So yeah, this mod is available for free. There will be a link in the description. There is a full credit list of all the people who made it on the uh, forum post itself. Go check them out. Go uh, basically follow them on the forums. Go do whatever. They're all a bunch of really nice people. And they've made something really brilliant. And I really appreciate that. I really, really respect when people work hard. And you can tell that a lot of hard work has gone into this. And uh, I honestly really respect that. So go check out everyone involved. And you will see more episodes of this in the future. Probably maybe in like every daily or every second daily. Yeah. That's to be ambiguous in the sense of I'm awful with my schedule sometimes. Or timetable. If you're British. Right, okay. This boss fight's going well so far. Right. Got him down to half health. I'm waiting for the, uh, the craziness to begin. I'm waiting for the, uh, you know, the whole massive monster mouth thing. Come on. Do the monster mouth. <laughs> it's like the monster mash. The monster mouth. It was a graveyard smash. Okay. Nice one. Finally there. Finally there. Finally there. Finally there. Come on, fella. Get killed. Get wrecked. 
Maybe I should have a screenshot of uh, the dodge fighting the Aikafulu on the first night. Oh, I'm dying though, trying to take screenshots. Idiot Chippy. Oh, God. And this is where I messed it up. Because I was trying to take screenshots. There we go. Come on, loop back under. There we go. That's better. That's much better. Come on, come back to the arena, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's it. Let's try and take another screenshot. And that worked out so well last time. There we go. <laughs> oh, God. Thank God for the screenshot key. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Okay. Right. Ooh, we're not going to be able to loop back very well over here. Come on, hurry up and die. But there you go, there is the Tremor mod. This is episode one. Thank you all for watching. Make sure, if this is your first video, make sure to click that subscribe button. By clicking that button, you'll be the first to see the latest videos as soon as they are posted. It also helps out the channel, and it means that you can like keep up to date with all the latest, latest stuff. I can't talk. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. And once again, thank you to all the people that made this. You are awesome.